in every season, whether we realize it or not, there's always something to appreciate. Even when faced with loss, we can be thankful for the time we had with those who passed away. Have you ever been in a tough situation where everything seems to be going wrong, leaving you overwhelmed and discouraged? In those moments, it's easy to forget about God's goodness and the importance of gratitude. But what if I told you that giving thanks can change your perspective and bring you closer to God? Today, my dear friends, let's talk about why thanking God in every season of our lives matters. We'll see how it can draw us nearer to Him and bring us joy and peace, even when life gets tough. Stick around until the end, and let's pray together in the powerful name of Jesus. Open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Friends, have you ever paused to watch the changing seasons in nature? Each season brings its own beauty and challenges. Spring brings new life, summer brings warmth and abundance, fall brings colorful changes and harvest, and winter brings stillness and rest. Just as the earth goes through these seasons, our lives also go through different phases. Sometimes we experience seasons of joy, seasons of sorrow, seasons of growth, and seasons of challenge. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 to 8, King Solomon writes about the seasons of life reminding us that each one has a purpose and God is with us through every step. Now, let's delve into the power of gratitude, my dear friends. While many of us understand the importance of gratitude, I want to explore its transformative potential further. Gratitude is a powerful force that can profoundly change our lives. When we cultivate a thankful heart, we open ourselves to experiencing God's goodness and grace in new and deeper ways. In Luke 17, verse 11 to 19, we read about Jesus healing 10 lepers. Only one returned to give thanks to Jesus. This story teaches us that gratitude is a choice that pleases God. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. When we count our blessings, we realize how much God has already done for us we begin to see His provision and protection in our lives, even during difficult times. In Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5, King David urges his soul to praise the Lord and remember His many blessings. He lists how God has forgiven his sins, healed his diseases, redeemed his life from destruction, and provided him with good things. Gratitude can also transform our relationships. When we express thankfulness to others, it builds connections and helps us see the good in people, appreciating how they've blessed our lives. Colossians 3 verse 15 advises letting the peace of God rule in our hearts and being thankful, which promotes peace and unity in our relationships. Gratitude serves as a defense against the enemy's attacks. In times of challenges, it's easy to feel negative, but choosing to give thanks declares our trust in God's goodness. In 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 to 9, Paul acknowledges hardships but remains thankful, knowing God is with him and will help him through. Furthermore, gratitude invites God to work powerfully in our lives. When we thank God, we acknowledge our reliance on Him and invite His intervention. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 encourages us to bring our requests to God with thanksgiving, promising His peace that surpasses understanding to guard our hearts and minds. So when we approach God with a thankful heart, He promises to give us peace and work all things for our good. Gratitude is a key that unlocks joy in our lives. When we focus on the good things God has done and the blessings He's given us, it fills our hearts with joy and contentment. In the book of Habakkuk, the prophet declares his joy in God despite hardship. He says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Habakkuk chose joy because he knew God was his strength and salvation. Cultivating a grateful heart isn't always easy, but it's worth it. It means intentionally focusing on the good even when life is tough taking time each day to thank God for His blessings and appreciating the people in our lives is part of it. It's trusting that God is good, even when circumstances aren't. One practical way to cultivate gratitude is keeping a gratitude journal. 
Each day, write down three things you're thankful for, like fresh air, a beautiful sunset, or a kind word from a friend. As you make this a habit, you'll see God's goodness and provision in new ways. Another way to cultivate gratitude is by expressing it to others. Take time to thank the people in your life who have made a difference, such as your spouse, children, friends, co-workers, or other loved ones, co-workers, or other loved ones. You can write a note of appreciation, give a heartfelt compliment, send a text message or email, or perform a kind gesture to show your gratitude. Make gratitude a part of your prayer life too. When you pray, thank God for who He is and what He has done. Thank Him for His love, grace, mercy, and faithfulness. Thank Him for both big and small blessings. Gratitude has the power to transform our hearts, relationships, and lives. It's a key to unlocking the abundant life Jesus came to give us. As we cultivate a heart of thanksgiving, we'll experience joy, peace, and contentment from knowing and trusting our good and faithful God. Let's choose to give thanks in every season of our lives, fixing our eyes on Jesus, trusting that He's working all things together for our good and His glory. As the psalmist declares in Psalm 106 verse 1, Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever. Now let's explore thanking God in the good times, my dear friends. It's easy to give thanks to God when things are going well, when we're experiencing the joys and blessings of life. As the psalmist says in Psalm 118, verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. When we wake up each morning and realize that every day is a gift from God, it fills our hearts with thankfulness. One of the most beautiful examples of gratitude in good times is found in the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told her she would give birth to the Son of God, Mary responded with humble gratitude. In Luke 1, verse 46 to 55, Mary declares her soul magnifies the Lord and rejoices in God, her Savior. She recognizes the blessing and privilege of being chosen to bear the Son of God and responds with a song of praise and thanksgiving. When we experience good times in life, it's essential to take time to thank God for His blessings. Whether it's a job promotion, a new relationship, a financial blessing, or a dream come true, we must acknowledge that every good and perfect gift comes from above. James 1 verse 17 reminds us that every good gift and every perfect gift is from God. When we give thanks to God in the good times, it helps us maintain a proper perspective on our blessings. It's easy to become prideful or entitled when things are going well, but gratitude reminds us that everything we have is a gift from God. In Deuteronomy 8 verse 17 to 18, Moses warns the Israelites not to become prideful about their wealth. He reminds them that it is God who gives them the power to gain wealth. When we give thanks to God for our blessings, it keeps us humble and dependent on Him. Gratitude in good times can serve as a powerful testimony to others. When we express thankfulness to God for His blessings, it can shine as a light to those around us who may be struggling or seeking hope. Psalm 105 verse 1 encourages us to give thanks to the Lord and make known His deeds among the peoples. Sharing our gratitude with others can point them to the goodness and faithfulness of God. Cultivating gratitude in good times also prepares our hearts for the challenges and trials we'll inevitably face in life. When we make a habit of thanking God for His blessings, it becomes easier to trust Him and give thanks even in difficult circumstances. As the Apostle Paul writes in Philippians 4 verse 12, he learned the secret of contentment and gratitude in all situations, rooted in his deep relationship with Christ. So, let's not take the good times in our lives for granted. Let's take time each day to thank God for His blessings, both big and small. Let's cultivate a heart of gratitude that overflows into praise and thanksgiving, and let's share our gratitude with others, pointing them to the goodness and faithfulness of our God. 
As we do this, we'll find our hearts filled with joy and peace, even amidst life's ups and downs. We'll be able to echo the psalmist's words in Psalm 9, verse 1 to 2, praising the Lord with our whole hearts, telling of his marvelous works and rejoicing in him. My dear friends, let's give thanks to God in the good times and witness how he fills our hearts with joy and peace. We can trust in his goodness and faithfulness, knowing he is always with us in every season of our lives. Now let's focus on thanking God in challenging times. It's much harder to express gratitude to God when we're facing difficulties, trials, pain, loss, or uncertainty. It can be tough to see his goodness and faithfulness in these moments. Yet it's precisely in these times that gratitude can be most powerful and transformative. In the book of Job, we see an incredible example of thanking God amid suffering. Job, despite losing everything, his wealth, children, and health declared the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Job chose to thank God and trust in his goodness, even when he couldn't understand his suffering. Expressing gratitude in challenging times requires deep faith and trust in God's character and promises. It means believing that God is good, even when circumstances aren't, trusting that he's working all things together for our good and his glory, even when the outcome isn't clear. When we choose to give thanks amid trial, we declare our faith in this promise. Moreover, Gratitude in challenging times can help us find hope and peace amidst our struggles. Focusing on what we're thankful for shifts our perspective from our problems to God's goodness. It reminds us that God is with us, even in the darkest times. As Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as those who have a contrite spirit. When we give thanks in our brokenness, God draws near and comforts us with his presence. My friends, one of the most powerful examples of thanking God in tough times is seen in Jesus' life. On the night before his crucifixion, during the Last Supper with his disciples, Jesus broke bread and passed the cup, giving thanks to God, Luke 22, verse 17. Despite knowing the suffering ahead, he chose gratitude, rooted in his deep trust and surrender to God's will even facing death. As we face life's challenges and trials, let's follow Jesus' example and choose to thank God. Let's trust in his goodness and faithfulness, even when we can't see the way forward. Let's rely on his strength and comfort, knowing he's always with us. When we choose gratitude in every circumstance, we'll find God's peace and joy guarding our hearts and minds, even amid life's storms. Let's keep our focus on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Doing so, we'll echo the words of the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17 to 18. Our temporary troubles work for us an eternal glory beyond comparison. So let's not fixate on what's visible, for it's temporary, but on the unseen, which is eternal. My friends, let's give thanks to God in every season both in the good times and in the challenging times. Let's trust in his goodness and faithfulness, knowing he's always with us, working all things together for our good and his glory. Now, to all those listening, let's come before the Lord in prayer. I invite you to pray along with me so you can receive all the blessings of this prayer. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and adoration. You are the beginning and the end, and your love knows no bounds. I lift your holy name high, for you alone are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your mercy is new every morning, and your grace sustains me through every trial. Lord, I thank you for the precious gift of life and for the countless blessings you've given me and my loved ones. You've provided for our every need, guided our every step, and showered us with your unconditional love. I'm grateful for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and rose again. 
promising us eternal life. Thank you, Lord, for your abundant grace and unending love. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for providing for me every day and blessing me in countless ways. I ask for your forgiveness for the times I've fallen short and strayed from your path. I repent of my sins and seek your mercy and grace to cleanse me and renew my spirit. Just as you've forgiven me, I choose to forgive those who have wronged me. Please transform my heart and mind through the power of gratitude. Help me develop a thankful spirit, even when facing challenges and trials. Give me the ability to see your hand at work in every aspect of my life and a heart full of praise for your goodness. I reject every spirit of negativity, complaining and ingratitude in Jesus' name. Instead, I embrace an attitude of gratitude. Lord, grant me strength and perseverance as I confront life's battles. In Jesus' name, I rebuke every attack of the enemy on my mind, body, and spirit. I declare that no weapon formed against me or my loved ones will succeed, and any accusation against us will be silenced. I claim victory over every stronghold, addiction, and generational curse. I am grateful that you are our healer, and I declare healing in every area of our lives, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the healing and wholeness we receive through Jesus' sacrifice. Almighty God, we seek your protection and covering over our lives. Surround us with your angels and shield us from harm and danger. Grant us wisdom, discernment, and divine guidance in every decision we face. Bless us with your favor and open doors that no one can close. Lord, we're grateful for your provision for our every need, according to your riches and glory. We declare that we are blessed when we come and go, and your goodness and mercy follow us every day. As we pray together, I'm thankful for every heart humbled before you. We join in agreement, praying for each other, knowing that you hear our pleas. We recognize the life-changing power of gratitude in our lives, and we declare that our hearts will overflow with thanksgiving, no matter the circumstances. We claim victory over every challenge and trial, knowing that you fight our battles. We receive your healing touch, both physically and emotionally. We ask for your protection over our lives and our loved ones. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and empower us to live lives that bring glory to your name. Amen. Father, we're grateful for this day and the chance to serve you. We trust your perfect plan for our lives and give every dream and desire to you. We're thankful that everything is working for us, a testament to your goodness, faithfulness, and unfailing love. Thank you for all you've done and what you'll do. In everything, we give thanks. Let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Yours is the kingdom, power and glory forever. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I declare all the blessings of this prayer upon you in Jesus' name. Share this video with those who need its blessing and click the like button. Subscribe for more uplifting content. To accept Jesus as your Savior, pray with an open heart. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I ask for forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose again. I turn from my sins and invite you into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Now that you've said this prayer, I also encourage you to connect with other believers to learn more about your new life and deepen your understanding of God. Feel free to share your prayer requests in the comments. We'll lift them up to God for blessings and victory. Believers worldwide, join us in prayer for these requests. Even if you don't see a reply, rest assured that each request is prayed for believing in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance according to God's plan. To God be all glory.
May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.